let's look at that. The key operation, insertion, yeah. how to insert an element. Okay? Yeah. How to implement the insertion operation. Okay. All right. Here we assume the given array, the current array is sorted. Then we do insertion. Okay? Yeah. First, find the right position. How do you find it? Yeah. There are many ways to find it. Yeah. Many ways to find it. Second, move elements to make the array sorted. You need to move. Okay. Yeah. So. so how do you move? We use shift operation. Shift some of the elements to the right. Shift operation. All very simple, very intuitive, okay? Yeah. All right. Now, implement insertion operation. So let, let me use a diagram to implement. How to find the correct position for the new element? Okay. Then, how to move elements to make the new element, to new array sorted? Okay, new element in place. So this is the diagram. Okay, yeah. And here you can see the comparison we need. Yeah. Because when you need to find the right position, you need to compare each element, the okay, individual elements. Yeah. That cost you pay big theta of k. Depends on the problem size. The size is A, so the cost is big theta of K. Right? Yeah. yeah, so average case. Yeah. At this time, you also calculate the average case. Okay? Yeah. Now I think it's, it should be easy. Okay? Based on what we did for K equals 2. So now you can do it easily. Yeah. Is this correct? Oh. Right? Think about it. Okay? Yeah. So if it's not correct, think about what is the correct one. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So you can do some experiment. Yeah. But you need to find the correct answer. Yeah. So think about. It. Yeah. Yeah. So I may leave this as a exercise question. Yeah. Yeah. Exercise or homework question. Yeah, for part two, you know, after our test one, part two. All right. Shift elements for insertion. Now let's look at more details on the shift, shifting elements yeah. to the right. Yeah. Some elements we need to shift to the right. Okay. Yeah. How do we do it? Yeah. Because we are working on the given array. Okay. Now we need extra space. We lift, we lift the, this element to be inserted. Yeah. Now we want to do insertion on element A sub K. How do we do it? We lift it, put in extra space. So we need extra space here. Okay. Then after we lift this location vacant, we can shift, right? We can do shifting. Okay? Shift to the right. Yeah. Every time shift to the right. Okay? So compare if this element is greater than the current element, we shift to the right. If less than, we don't shift. If less than, we don't shift. Okay? Right. Greater than, we shift. Yes. Compare with the next one. Greater than, we shift again, and so on. At some location, we stop, right? There is some location we stop, okay? Yeah. At this, suppose this location we stop, okay? Yeah. After we do all these shifting operations, at some place, we detect A sub i 
is less than or equal to a sub k, Le including equal. Okay, equal we also stop. Okay, equal we also stop. So now we we in place. Okay? Now we can put a k in place. That's the whole story. That's the whole story. Okay? Yeah. In this operation, yeah, okay? so I, I think you understand this easily. Okay? You understand easily. Yeah. But there is some detail. Okay? Some detail. One detail I mentioned <coughs> like this. <clears throat> when AK equals, oh, sorry, AI equals AK, we stop. Can we shift? We do not stop. Can we shift? Can we shift? Yeah, so, you know. Can you explain what's the reason you don't want to shift? Right. You will do more operations, right? Yeah. Yeah. From that point of view, you do unnecessary operations. You spend more, but you do not gain more. Okay? You do not gain more. But the answer, do you agree you still get correct answer, right? You do not get the wrong answer. Right? Yeah. You pay more. But you do not get a better answer. Let's see this. Okay? Yeah. But actually later you will see that will be a worse answer. That will be a worse answer. Why worse? Okay? So you do this, you shift, you pay more, you shift. Okay? Yeah. That it is still sorted. Yeah, still sorted. But later we will no, that kind of sorting is unstable. <coughs> unstable. Okay? If we stop immediately, then we do like this, we will get a stable sort. Like you switch the order. Okay? Oh, I see. Right, you switch the order. That order switch will make the sorting unstable. Okay? But that concept uh, we will learn in much more detail, you know, in lecture 9, 10, you know, about, yeah, 9 or 10, probably 10, lecture 10. Stable sorting, yeah, related to, to the operation here. So that's why you should be very careful. Yeah. Something you do looks harmless, right? Harmless. So I do some redundant operation, harmless, but at some special situation, it is harmful. At some special situation, harmful. It is unstable. Unstable sorting has some restriction. Some situation you cannot use apply unstable sorting. Okay, yeah. There is some special situation, so you cannot apply unstable sorting. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's some comment. We will get there. <clears throat> All right. All right. Let's count. Now, we're back again. When we do data assignment, this is a data assignment, right? You assign the value of this element to another variable. So one assignment. Okay. Yeah. Another assignment. When you do shift, you copy. That's another assignment. Okay. Copy. Assignment. Assignment, assignment, and here another assignment, right? You copy it back, assignment. Yeah. So you count number of assignments. Assignment operation. Yeah. You count a number of assignment operation in sorting. We can treat that as our basic operation. Comparison, assignment, right? Okay? We can, you know, use either one. Yeah. Okay. So number of assignment, big theta of k. Okay. 